Did you know that when Power BI imports data, that more information than just the data is imported? Power BI actually captures details about the table, columns, primary keys, and more. Let's say you import a data set that contains geographic data like country, the customer state abbreviation, customer city, and maybe other things like zip code. How does Power BI know exactly how to interpret this kind of data? The short answer is that Power BI takes its best guess based on the profile of the data, but that's not always accurate. For example, all of our states should be marked within the US or Puerto Rico. So this value down here in South America doesn't really make sense. Now, this is a great example of Power BI not knowing how to exactly treat the abbreviation for customer state. Is this a state name or is this a country code? The good news is that we can help Power BI determine how to categorize geographic data by adjusting the data categorization from within the data view. So what this does is this tells Power BI exactly how to categorize the geographic data type. So for example, here we're on customer state, so we're gonna select state or province. Now you'll notice over here within our field section, we now have this globe icon, meaning that we have set this category type to a geography. Now, if we head back over to the report view, you'll see that now all of our state names are categorized correctly and the value in South America has been reassigned. So this is a great approach, but there's actually another way that Power BI can determine the appropriate way to display a geographic data type, and that's to create a hierarchy. So let's remove our customer state here and we're gonna add in customer city. So again, Power BI isn't quite sure where to plot all of these cities because the same city name exists in multiple locations throughout the world. In order to fix this, we need to add our customer country above customer city within our location well, and then drill down a level in this hierarchy we just created. So what this does is it gives Power BI enough context to understand that all of these cities are located in either the United States or Puerto Rico, and then map them correctly.